what's up it's your girl Shanice welcome welcome back to my channel if you are new here definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and if you are not new what's good what's popping thank you for being a part of the family so as you can see by the title of this video I am straightening my hair again a lot of you guys are probably like why Shanice you just did it why girl you're gonna damage your hair however I love having my straight hair. It's just so easy to work with. I don't really gotta do much to it and I really enjoy it. So I'm about to straighten my hair, but we are going to be straightening my hair with the new Dyson Coral. And thank you to Dyson for sponsoring this video. Highly appreciate it. So I was actually lucky enough that I was able to go to the launch of this product in Toronto. I was able to play with the Dyson Coral. I was able to use it in my hair, even though my hair was straight, so I didn't get the real the real deal so that's what we're gonna be trying today and honestly I went in there and I was just like it's just a straightener like how revolutionary could this be but y'all when I tell you like the little specs that it has which you guys will hear about later in this video I was very very impressed so I actually have not opened this yet so let's unbox it together and talk about it and use it this is some pretty packaging and this is the little mat that you put down to obviously protect your surfaces from heat. And it's literally like a carrying bag as well. So this is the beautiful, beautiful Dyson Corral. I did get this purple color, it is gorgeous. And I think it's now available in both Canada and the US. And oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Purple is my favorite color, so. Mm -hmm. So this looks like the docking station for the Dyson Corral. And this right here looks like the part where you can charge it up. Cause if you guys did not know, this is a cordless or cord free hair straightener. But if you need to, there is a cord as well that you can just plug in and use like as a regular straightener. Okay guys, so my baby right here is currently charging. While it's doing that, I do wanna share with you guys a little bit of the specs and the things that really, really stand out to me, which make this straightener better than the rest of the straighteners on the market. So number one is definitely the corralling plate technology. If you don't know what that is, pretty much the plates on the flat iron right here are movable. They're able to move, they're able to flex, and with that, they're able to corral and kind of just hug your hair. And for those of you who don't know how important that is, I'll explain that right now. So for me, usually when I straighten my hair, my hair falls out the sides of the flat iron which is the most annoying thing because that means I have to go over and over until I get it right so with the flexing plates that does not happen at all because the flexing plates hold your hair nice and taut and with that it's able to evenly disperse the heat so it's able to get all your hair strands and because it holds it taut that means I don't need to do the chase method, which is what I do usually when straightening my hair. So I think first of all, right off the bat, that is the most important piece to this straightener right here. And that goes hand in hand with the second thing that I wanna share with you guys which is that it reduces half the heat damage. And because of the technology, because of how powerful it is, and because of the flexing plates, you're able to style your hair at a 20 to 40 degree lower heat setting. So for me, I usually do 450 degrees. That's just what works best for me on traditional flat irons. However, with this, I'm able to go 20 to 40 degrees lower, which I think is bomb because I do have curly hair. However, I do like my straight hair and I rather reduce heat damage at all costs. Last thing, which I think everybody was anticipating and super hype about is that it's cord free or cordless. As long as it's charged, you can use it wherever and whenever you want. Alrighty, so this is about done now. So let's turn this bad boy on and get to straightening. And I'm gonna turn up the heat to 410. So there is three heat settings, 330, 365, and 410. And if you wanna put this in Celsius, you can do that again. So as you can see, it's already ready to go. It made that sound, which means it is ready to go at 410 degrees. So that was so fast. I literally just turned it on. This is literally something I have to get used to because I am not using a comb. Wow, look how sleek and straight that is. And even though I'm not using a rat's tail comb, I am brushing my hair beforehand. Wow. 
Wow, y'all, I'm really impressed with how it looks right off the bat. You can just see how shiny and smooth it is. It's very smooth and silky. It looks, it looks good, girl. I'm gonna try this bigger section right here and see how that does. See how it just holds it taut right there and it does not move from where you place it? Perfection. And you don't have to put a lot of pressure on it or anything. Like, look at that, wow. I low-key wanna test it out and do a bigger section and just to see if my hair falls out in any places. So let's try that. Cause on a traditional flat iron, honey, that is not happening at all. Let's get these roots first. Yeah, see, it's literally not falling out the sides or anything. Not bad at all. So you can actually hold the top part right here for more control and it's not hot at all, so Like I don't need to be holding this so tight to the point where like it hurts my hand. It's not needed at all. So I do wanna mention that this flat iron is definitely a lot heavier than the traditional flat iron, but that's because it holds a lot of power and the battery that it uses, it, I think that kind of overrides um, the heaviness of it. Look how shiny my freaking hair is. I'm pretty blown away. So I think I use a Dyson Coral enough to give you a little bit of tea on it. My hair is extremely, extremely shiny, like very, very shiny, okay? And very smooth and silky feeling. And the crazy part is, is that I did not do the chase method, so. Y'all, another thing that's really standing out to me is how quick and how fast it's taking me to straighten my hair. And I'm only using it on 410 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm only using one pass. So for me to get these results and to do it that fast is honestly, it's surprising. Okay guys, so I am done straightening my hair and I am in love with my results, like in love. But I just wanna wrap this video up and share my final thoughts about the Dyson Corral. So I know, I know it is $500 USD, which is $650 Canadian, which is a lot, a lot, a lot of money for a lot of people. However, I feel like if you're a hairstylist, if you have damaged hair, or if you are honestly very into hair care and trying to prevent heat damage and you like to straighten your hair, I say that this is a great, great investment. And if you have the disposable money or you have the money to spend, then why not? 
I think pretty much for me, the results speak for itself. I love that I can take bigger size sections and just get through it. I love that I don't have to do the chase method because when I'm doing the chase method, I'm like, uh, uh, uh. and I know there's probably people thinking like, this thing is so big, so thick. Can I get the roots with this flat iron? And I definitely say that you can. However, you're gonna have to kind of manipulate your hands. Um, just do a certain technique to get that and then just kind of go back and forth a little bit and then you're good to go but you definitely can get your edges and i'm super excited to be using this in my straight hair routine from now on it did an amazing job and the flexing plates are just something that i just cannot get past so if you guys are interested in checking out or trying out the dyson corral i will leave a link down below where you can check it out hopefully you guys enjoy this video hopefully you guys love my hair like i love it and i will see you all in the next video deuces